All right, guys, good old boy 32 here, checking out. So, got a package in the mail the other day that I'm actually pretty excited about, and I don't get excited about a lot of things, but I am about this one. This came, uh, by the way, of my good friend Tyler over there at Tundra Tactical, uh, and he has a friend from a company called Airborne Arms, and Ryan is his name. And uh, so, anyway, he said, would you be uh, willing to test out one of the trigger systems that we make by hand? And with a company called Airborne Arms, you know damn right I'm going to go ahead and say yes. Of course, a lot of people I'm not going to say no to unless, uh, you know, I can't understand the, the scribble that they write. Well, anyway, uh, <laughs> called Ryan. He explained to me all about the company. Uh, they started this company, he and a partner, a while back. Uh, he was in the 509th, which uh, explains the name of this trigger system. But... Uh, Good guy, airborne paratrooper, combat veteran, veteran-owned business. So, yeah, you know I'm going to support these guys. And you know how much I absolutely love uh, supporting our veteran-owned businesses. So I thought it would be really cool to go ahead and uh, install it in the Deuce. And this is called the 80 Deuce. This is the lower to the Mo R. And it's got the uh, special grip that I've had put on there. Well, anyway, just to let you know how much this is going to mean to me, I'm taking the guys of the SSA Enhanced out of this thing. And we're going to go ahead and put this thing, uh, this system in here. So I'm hoping that I don't have to take the grip off because if we do, I'm going to be really upset. But in any case, first thing we're going to do is go ahead and remove the Geisley trigger system out of here, which is a pretty simple process. And a lot of times, guys, I've done this out in the field many times. I'm hoping and I'm praying that I don't have to take that grip out. There goes the Geisley SSA. We've got an empty receiver right here. We'll go ahead and set this beside because if this trigger is anything like he says it is guys i will leave it in this rifle for sure so but you know that'll set this up you get a trigger system you get a new optic in well that only means we got to build another rifle doesn't it so anyway without further ado let's go ahead and open this thing up here we go i'm gonna bring the camera in a little bit closer if i can maybe i'll do a camera right here how about that all right so let's take a look at this thing it came wrapped up like this and it has a really cool card on it, it says airborne arms ryan morgan ryan at airborne arms llc.com call or text and you know what's cool about it this is his phone number and i'll go ahead and put the information down below uh they also uh, they've hired some really cool people to help out with the advancement of their company. And it's one of the things I do. I really want to make sure that I talk to these guys in person because one is I want to make sure that when a company says they're making their products, they're American made. And because I have been stooped before, but uh, these guys are American made. Look at that thing. Airborne arms. This guy didn't even know I was a paratrooper. Unbelievable. But he did make fun of my old age, which is okay. That just means he likes it. All right, so let's go ahead and open this up, this package. It comes, I don't know if the one you order is gonna be wrapped up in this Christmas present stuff, but here it is. We got a little wind kicking up today. Man, let me tell you something. First of all, I am seriously impressed with what I'm seeing right here. The Geronimo Trigger. The Geronimo Trigger System introduces the shooter to the ability to fit the trigger to their hand shooting style, and all kinds of cool stuff. All right, so they talk about the modular shooting adaptive trigger, the MSAT, and uh, pretty cool thing. So uh, one of the things that I am impressed with, and one of, one of, I also want to go ahead and put another camera right here so you can see what's going on, but they include the uh, JP uh, trigger spring, hammer springs in here. One of the things that sets them apart, and I hope I can get this open with... Uh, hands I can. One of the items that really sets this apart is the trigger shoe and I want you guys to look at that. I'm hoping this is coming through on that secondary camera down there below but in any case one of the things that you do is you take the trigger assembly and another thing is is that they hand hewn each one of these parts by hand. Ryan does it. There's not a single trigger that has gone through his shop that has not been touched by him, which means the quality control is at best dictated by the guy who signs the checks, which is one of the things I love. So anyway, what you do, and I'm guessing you just slide this thing on there just like that. There's a little tightening screw right there, and you've got this beautiful flattened trigger, which one of the cool things is, as you can see, 
has these beveled edges here. So if you're shooting left-handed, right-handed, unsupported, or uh, weak hand, that's what I like to call it. So there's instructions on how to install it. I, uh, I'm horrible at instructions. It does have anti-walkout, the uh, hammer uh, pin and the trigger pin. One of the other things that you'll notice on here is that the hammer has been machined as well. As you can see right here, even the Geisley hammer is thicker. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and assemble this thing. I'm gonna put it together. These are beautiful. The uh, disconnect is, and, and what I said, guys, each one of these triggers has been tuned individually so that don't go changing to try and please me. No, just kidding. But don't go and messing around with trying to change your disconnect out. You might end up like I did one day with a, a walk away gun. But in any case, really, really cool looking parts. Uh, we'll go ahead and put these things together. Uh, right there, you can see that there is a little Allen wrench screw that uh, you put the, uh, you can adjust this uh, back and forward or put it in there. I guess you can put different ones in there. Uh, there is an over travel pin right there. That's pretty cool. And he even has a little pin right here that's a starter pin. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead, I'm putting a set it up for the lightest trigger. We're gonna run a test and we're gonna compete up against a six round burst. Uh, I did, they do have some steel targets here, but I don't think they're rated for uh, AR-556. So anyway, let's go ahead and put this thing together and uh, see how she compares. And like I said, if it is anything uh, like I want it to be, it will remain in this uh, lower. And we're going to use this at the next competition coming up down at the Clinton House. And it's going to be a hard match to uh, have this thing come out better than the, uh, the hyperfire, but you never know. Let's do this, here we go. Well, here's the deal. There it is. She is installed. I'm going to hold this right here. Hopefully, it'll come into focus for you. But again, one of the cool things about it is that I thought it was really neat. Airborne arms, and I think it's just fate, ultimately. But it's going to go on this guy right here that's got that grip on it. That's mine from the 82nd Airborne Division. And man, what a beautiful trigger. Nicely done. Very well machined. Uh, I would, because... He does take the time to hand hone each one of the triggers. I would say that that's probably the, and I'm not just pulling your leg. The, if the pull is a little bit more than what I would like in a competition trigger. And I did put both the green springs in there, the JPs. Uh, but I would tell you that my finger is so well tuned <laughs> that I can honestly tell you it's just, that is, it's so smooth. That's absolutely incredible. Now, the uh, the deal is this thing retails for 199 
and it is a piece of art it is a piece of work just look at that i don't know if you can see that let me see if it'll zoom in there but look at this very smooth very clean each one of the edges is absolutely perfect the disconnector is specific to the firearm or to the trigger system you can't change these things out because he tunes each one of them and it is true it is Look, look at that. Okay, so about a four pound trigger. They don't want to make it a whole lot. They can tune it to specifications if you give them that, but look at the reset. There's the set, the pull, about four pounds. So let's go ahead, let's give her a shot. See how she compares to the other guys. Here we go. All right, so one of the things I wanted to show everybody was that reset. So here we go, watch this. Here's the reset. Guys, that is pretty damn good. Oh. <laughs> 1 1.13, that is with the, the Hyperfire Eclipse. one point two zero that was the geisley ssae all right guys so here we are man this is the six round speed challenge we've already done the uh hyperfire we've already done the geisley now let's go ahead and do the airborne arms here we go the low ready so one point three two let's go ahead and give it another shot here we go 1.38 that's it the airborne arms look at that thing isn't that beautiful veteran owned ryan thank you very much for sending us out to the channel to test we'll go ahead and keep running it it's absolutely beautiful and that's about all guys airborne arms let's go to boy 32 sport the red white and blue american me god bless america god bless his men women in uniform 24 7 for our freedom this freedom's not free check that thing out Absolutely beautiful. Y'all have a great day. Ha! That's a Hyperfire 1.4. Hmm. My finger's getting old.